In the world of networking, proxies play a vital role in routing traffic between different servers and clients. A proxy server acts as an intermediary between the client and the destination server. It accepts requests from clients and forwards them to the destination server. There are many different types of proxies. Some accept requests from clients and route them to servers. Some act on behalf of the client. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the difference between the various types of proxy servers and how you can use them in your cloud infrastructure. First up, forward proxies. Now, forward proxies are deployed in any number of ways, but primarily to route traffic between clients and other systems. Forward proxies can be deployed in different locations, including the client side, the server side, or at the network perimeter. They can be used to filter traffic, block malicious traffic, or redirect traffic to specific destinations. Forward proxies are used to protect client machines from exposure online. While there are many types of forward proxies, generally speaking, the most popular type are HTTP proxies, SOX proxies, and transparent proxies. As the name might infer, HTTP proxies will protect HTTP or Hypertext Transport Protocol traffic. Now, this includes most of the activity performed on the web by browsers. Then there are transparent proxies, and they are typically deployed at the network level and provide proxy services without clients even being aware of their existence. On the other hand, reverse proxies can be used to manage traffic between multiple clients and backend servers. Reverse proxies typically receive requests from clients and then route them to different backend services based on specific rules or conditions. Reverse proxies can be used to improve the availability, scalability, and security of web applications. By distributing traffic among different backend servers, reverse proxies can help balance the traffic load and prevent any single server from becoming overloaded. Now, one popular tool for performing reverse proxy services is Nginx. While Nginx is an open source web server, it can be used as a reverse proxy, a load balancer, or an HTTP cache. This is especially useful if you already have an Nginx deployment and you want to make the most out of your infrastructure. Using Nginx can help expose multiple services over HTTPS using reverse proxy. To achieve this, you would first need to configure Nginx to listen on the HTTPS port, and specify the SSL certificate and key. Once the SSL is enabled, you can then define the different backend servers and their respective ports. Nginx can be configured to send traffic to the backend server based on the URL or the domain name. For example, let's say you have two backend servers, one running a web application and the other running a chat server. You can configure Nginx to send requests to the web application when the URL matches the domain name and to the chat server when the URL matches a specific path. This way, Nginx can route traffic to the correct backend server based on the URL. In addition to routing traffic to backend servers, Nginx can also be used to terminate SSL TLS connections, provide SSL TLS offloading, and enforce security policies. For example, you can configure Nginx to reject any request that doesn't meet certain security requirements, such as valid SSL certificate or a specific HTTP header. In conclusion, proxies play a vital role in managing traffic between different servers and clients. Reverse proxies are used to distribute traffic among multiple backend servers, while network proxies are deployed to control access to resources and optimize network performance. Learn more about reverse proxies and how you can use them in your cloud infrastructure by checking out the Linode documentation with the link below. Make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss any of the other cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.